Hey, guess you weren't expecting to see a note inside your locker today, huh? I really enjoyed our little impromptu bathroom session at the Valentine's party. Too bad we got interrupted so fast. I'm curious to explore that side of you. You know, the one that likes to take orders. I want to see how far you would go for me. Do you like adrenaline rushes? I do. Meet me in the vacant lot behind the school. Tonight, 8.45 p.m. I'll be waiting. Will you be a good girl and join me there? See you soon. I hope. Storm. Hi. I'm glad to see you. I wasn't sure if you were going to come or not. So, seems like I got your attention, huh? Let's go on a little walk, shall we? Why did I ask you to meet me here? Patience, girl. Don't want to spoil it for you. I want to get to know you better. You know you caught my eye. Even before the party. Otherwise, I wouldn't have stalked your ex. Why didn't I just talk to you? Well, first of all, you were taken, and I'm no homewrecker. Even though you seemed miserable every time I saw you with that girl. And second, I was waiting for the perfect occasion. Destiny brought us together that night, right? It wasn't planned which makes it more special in my book. Do you believe in destiny? You think it's a man-made construct that takes away our sense of responsibility. Fair. So, do you believe we're in full control of what happens in our life? To a certain extent, huh? Choices. Yeah. I agree with that. Everything is a question of choice. Every minute, every second of every day. Your life could go a completely different way, right? Like, right now, I could choose to brush your hand. Or put my hands on your hips and bring you closer to me. could choose to run my fingers through your hair and cup your face. I could run my tongue along your lips. <laughs> Not so fast. I'm in charge here. Let's keep walking. You ever come here before? Yeah, it's not really the sort of place most people feel comfortable walking through after sundown. But, I like it. It's peaceful. I like to think of it like a portal into another dimension. One where anything is possible. Where the normal rules of time and space don't apply. I can spend hours here in the summer. Once I even brought a tent and slept out of here so I could watch the stars. <laughs> you look surprised. What? You didn't think I could be so... mellow? Hey, being dominant doesn't mean I'm a cold-blooded jerk. I like the stars. I like nature. I like being alone. But today, I thought I'd share the space with someone special. Here we are. This railroad doesn't have a lot of traffic. There's one train that passes through at 9 p.m. every night. Which is... In five minutes. Come here. Look at me in the eyes. Do you trust me? I know, you don't know me that well. But I trust you. 
There's a special connection between me and you. Can you feel it? Put your hand on my chest. Right. There. Can you feel my heart beating? Let me feel yours. Wow, yours is beating so fast. Am I making you nervous? Hmm? What is it? You're scared? What sort of things have you heard about me? That I'm dangerous, huh? A little danger is exciting. Don't you think? Plus, you don't know you're alive until you're almost dead. Have you ever felt like you were almost dead? No? Well, maybe you live your life a little too safely. But I like to push boundaries once in a while. Remind myself that I'm here. Not just some ghost going through the motions to please society. I'm in control. Of myself. Of my destiny. And. Of you. If you'll let me. What does it entail? Well. I need to know that you trust me. Fully. I need to know that you're mine. And you'll do anything I want. Not because I want to take advantage of you. But because I want to feel that bond with someone. That crazy, mind-bending feeling that we're just one being. Is that something you're into? Good girl. So, here's your dare, if you'll accept it. I want you to step on those rail tracks and wait. Wait until you can hear the train whistle in the distance. Until you can hear its wheels rattling on the metal. I want you to stand there in the middle of it and wait. Until I tell you to step back. So, what do you say? Yeah, it's crazy. But I don't want you to die, so I'll call you back before you could get hurt. Hey, I promise. You don't have to do it. You're free to go if you're afraid. My order to you is to do what feels right. And if you do what I want, there will be a pleasant reward at the end. Because it'll mean so much to me. It'll mean that you'll have done something that no one's ever done before. And I'll let you spend the night here with me, in the tent I brought. Just a few minutes now. What do you think? Do you want to belong to me? My good girl. Good. It's time. Don't move until I say you can. Just wait. Just trust me. It's almost here. Just focus on my voice. Focus on your breathing. You're not dying tonight. You're alive. And I'm in control. I'm in control of your control. Just trust me. How does it feel to know that you could die right now? How does it feel to know that I could let you die if I wanted to? But remember, I promised. I won't let you down. Come back! <laughs> god. Oh my god. I can't believe you did it.
believe you did that for me. My heart was about to burst out of my chest when I realized you actually weren't going to move until I said so. It was so exhilarating. Come here. Put your hands around my neck. I need to feel you close. I need to feel that you're here. No one's ever gone that far for me. No one. You may truly be something special. Did you like it? You were terrified? <laughs> I bet. But you trusted me. And that makes me... That makes me want to be so close to you right now. You're mine. You're my good girl. You're mine, and all 